Hey, I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I'm going back to an integral that actually I skipped. This is from MIT 2023 Integration B Problem 14. We have the integral from zero to one of x squared over two minus x squared plus the square root of two x over x plus one dx. Okay, and this was brought to my attention by David Kravitz. And I think David found the same thing that I did, which was I don't really have a really I don't really have a nice way to solve this. I don't have any creative solution. I just have kind of the brute force method. And so as you see, my method for solving this is going to be a little bit long because I'm just going to do kind of the straightforward brute force, breaking this into two separate integrals. And actually, what I thought was the most interesting about this problem was the integration B is a time test. And so you really need to be doing the problems in just like a couple minutes. If you have a problem that takes five or 10 minutes, that's way too long for an exam like this. And so my method here is probably, wouldn't be great for the exam, but it's probably gonna take too long. I'd be really interested to see if anyone found like a creative approach, some way to do this quicker, um, but this was the best I could do. Okay, so to get started with this, what I did was I just broke this into two integrals because I didn't have any, I couldn't find a good relationship between these two. That's what I was looking for. I was trying to do like derivatives and trying to see if, if, if somehow this was like the product rule or something. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna break this into two integrals, okay? And then I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call this first one one and this second one two. And I'm gonna start by just focusing on this first integral and just doing this one and coming back to this one later. Okay, so for this first one, it's not too bad. What I wanted to do is I wanted to do partial fractions, but you notice we have the same degree in the numerator as the denominator. We could do long division. I would like to just kind of manipulate it. So what I'll do is I'll take a minus out front and then I can just change this order here and write this as x squared minus two dx. And then what I'll do in order for this to get some cancellation, I'm gonna just do a minus two and add two. So that I'm adding zero, we're not changing the expression, but this is gonna allow me to simplify this thing. So then with another rewrite, You'll notice x squared minus two over x squared minus two is just one. So for our first integral here, we're gonna have dx, and then we're gonna have a minus two dx x squared minus two, but I want this to be difference of two squares. So I'm gonna write it as square root of two squared. Then let's take care of this really quick because we know the integral of dx is just gonna be x. We have a minus in front evaluated from one to zero. This is actually just gonna be minus one. Okay, so we're gonna have for this piece minus one, but let's focus on, let's just focus on this integral right here now. So with this, we'll take it over here and I'm just gonna write this. I'm gonna break up my difference of two squares. We'll write it as x plus square root of two times x minus square root of two. And I'm gonna use partial fractions on this. For the partial fractions, we'll set this up. We're gonna have our a value, just break this into two expressions, two separate integrals. And then our second one we'll call b from zero to one, x minus square root of two. Because I have a lot to do, we're gonna go through this one pretty quick. So I'm gonna use the cover up method. So I'm gonna, for the first, for here, I'm gonna plug in a minus square root of two. We plug it in here and we get for this expression, negative one over two square root of two. And again, quick cover up, we need a square root of two here cover that up, but plug it in over here, and plugging that in with the one here, we're gonna have one over square root of two plus square root of two is one over two square root of two. Okay, I ran out of space, so just continuing on here. Before we integrate, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull a one over two square root of two out front, and then we'll integrate each of these. Here we're gonna have, for this first one, we're gonna have minus natural log x plus square root of two, and then here we're gonna have plus natural log x minus square root of two. Sorry, I forgot the absolute value, so I put that back in. But then we'll just use log properties to turn this into a fraction. So we'll have our one over two square root of two, natural log, and then we'll have this piece in the numerator and this piece in the denominator. Before I evaluate this, I'm gonna bring back what we had before. I don't wanna forget this piece. We had minus one, and then we had a minus two here. And then we'll have one over two square root of two natural log, and we'll have all this stuff. And then just a quick cleanup, we'll have these twos will cancel right here. I want you to just rationalize this square root of two. Okay, and this here will be a two. And now let's evaluate this and clean it up a little bit. So we'll have our minus one here. 
Yeah, that's a mess over there. So we're gonna have our minus one, minus square root of two over two. And then here, plugging a one in here, okay, so we're gonna have natural log one minus square root of two over one plus square root of two. Don't forget absolute value there. And then when we put a zero in, we're gonna have natural log of minus square root of two over square root of two. Then let's deal with this piece. So this is actually minus one, but inside of the absolute value is just one. Natural log of one, this piece goes away because it's all zero. Then here in this, now square root of two is around 1.414. So this is actually negative, because this is positive and this is negative inside the absolute value. So I can actually just change the sign here and rewrite this. So I think I'll just do one more thing here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this minus sign and bring it and use it to flip this in here. Okay, so we're gonna have plus square root of two over two, natural log. Flipping this, we're gonna have square root of two plus one over square root of two minus one. Remove the absolute value because we know we're all positive now. Then one last thing, I'm just gonna rationalize this by multiplying by the conjugate here. Okay, but notice on the denominator here, this expression multiplied out is just one. Okay, so that part goes away and we have square root of two plus one squared. And then so after rationalizing this, just one last step, I'm gonna take the exponent and pull it out. For the final solution for just part one, we're gonna have minus one plus square root of two, because the two, this two and this two is gonna cancel. And we're gonna have natural log square root of two plus one. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our second integral. We kind of boxed our first answer over here. And for this one, I'm gonna just kinda, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a square root of two out, out here, so I can break this up. So I can bring a square root of two in front of my integral, and then I can separate the numerator and denominator so that I have square root of x over square root of x plus one. I'm just kinda breaking it up this way to make it clear for myself, so I can kinda see what's going on. So then from here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a u substitution for this square root of x before I do anything else, so we'll call u equals square root of x, then x equals u squared, and our dx value is gonna be 2u du. Okay, I'm just gonna go right ahead and make the substitution. We'll keep our square root of two out front. Plugging a one in here, it's just gonna be one, and plugging a zero in, it's just gonna be zero. Bounds don't change, I like that. Then for the square root of x here, we're gonna have a u. For dx, we're gonna have a, t, a 2u du in the numerator. And then for this expression, we're gonna have our square root, x is just u squared, so we're gonna have u squared plus one. But now, what I'm gonna do, I'll just take this two out front, and then also u times u is u squared, so let's just clean that up real quick. Okay, and here this might look a little nicer, and what we can do now is this is set up well for a trig substitution. And notice we could have skipped right to the trig substitution. I just like doing it this way. So I'm gonna do my trig substitution now. I'm gonna call my u, this is this form here, u squared plus one. We're gonna call u equal to tan of t. And then du is gonna be secant squared t dt. I'll go ahead and make this substitution. We'll keep this stuff out front. Then with the bounds, plugging a one in, tangent of one is actually pi over four and then tangent of zero is just zero. Our u squared is gonna be tan squared t. Uh, du is gonna be this stuff over here. So we're gonna have secant squared t dt. Then we'll just kind of do this part in our head. u squared plus one, tan squared plus one is the same thing as secant squared, but we're inside a square root. So we'll bring back just secant t. Technically we need an absolute value, but in this and th with this, um, with these bounds, it's always positive. So then I'm gonna cancel a secant with a secant here. And then I think to save a step, tan squared, I'm gonna think of this as, tan squared is the same thing. We have, an, we have a nice identity for that. Tan squared t is the same thing as secant squared t minus one. So when I rewrite that, let's just look at what we have. I'm gonna distribute our secant t into this thing. Let's do the rewrite. Distributing secant into this, we're gonna have secant cubed t minus secant t. Now we're ready to integrate, but since these are both pretty well known integrals, I'm just gonna use the formulas for these. So for our first, for secant cubed t, the formula for that is gonna be half secant t tan t plus natural log secant t plus tan t. 
Sorry, I forgot the one half right there. And it's kind of the way I remember this. I remember the C I remember this formula in relation to the secant formula, which is really similar. It's just this second part. It's natural. It's natural log absolute value secant t plus tan t. But what I'm going to do is a quick fix because we have half. This is the same expression here and here. So we have a half here and minus one here. So we can combine these and write it as minus one half. So I'm just going to change this right here real quick. And let's just get rid of this last part. Okay, so next we just need to evaluate this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down our values that we need for secant and tangent just to maybe speed this along a little bit. Okay, we'll use these values to put this all together now. So we're gonna have two squared to two up front. Then we need to evaluate all this business at pi over four. Okay, so we're gonna have, okay, so at pi over four, secant at pi over four is two squared to two, tan is one. So we can just write this as two square root of two here. And we got our minus one half, natural log. And then adding these, we're gonna have two square root of two plus one. Then next we'll evaluate our zero. Now secant times tangent at zero, notice tangent zero. So that first piece, this piece here is just gonna be a zero. And then half natural log secant of t is, secant at zero is one but tangent at zero is zero. So we're looking here, this part's just gonna be minus a half natural log of one, but natural log of one is also zero. So this whole part is zero and we can ignore that. So to finish up this second interval, we're just gonna to need to simplify this a little bit. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, let's see, I'll cancel a two here. Then we'll distribute in this square root of two. Look, my pen's kind of getting dry. So, okay, so just to bring that in the first term, we're gonna have two, because this is gonna cancel with this minus square root of two, natural log, two square root of two plus one. And this is clearly positive, so I'm gonna exclude my uh, absolute value there. And then real quick, I can just kind of rationalize this by multiplying a square root of two here and here, but two is gonna cancel this. So for our second integral, we're left with two minus square root of two, natural log square root of two plus one. Okay, so just to summarize what we did real quick, we just found our, we found our value for our second integral, okay, which we have right here. And then earlier we found our value for the first integral. Now we just need to add these two together. So we'll take this and bring it back in here and we're adding in or subtracting. We get minus one plus square root of two, natural log square root of two plus one. And then I'm gonna say maybe this is the only nice simplification in the whole, video, in the whole problem. This is actually gonna cancel with this. We're left with two minus one, and that just equals one. And I think I'm going to uh, toss this pen because it's worn out. So again, that was kind of the brute force approach and it kind of took a while. So let me know if you had any simplifications or any ways to do this quicker. Be curious to find out. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.